for today's video, we're just gonna have a quick overview of the types of job that you can actually do at the comfort of your own home. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary and I am a work from home mom. If you want to learn how to work from home, looking to balance life and career, or you are just looking for advice on love, work, adventure, and lifestyle, then you're in the right channel. So keep on watching. May nakita kasi akong post. Most of the posts that I see from different freelancing groups are posts from those who have call center or BPO experience. And this one in specific caught my attention. Actually, hindi kaya siya na screenshot. But he actually highlighted the skill set. Yeah, he does have a very good portfolio when it comes to writing, business writing. Yata yung tawag dun or something like that. And sabi ko, oi sayang mo, maganda yung niche niya, kasi walang masadong tao don sa sa area nayon. And he's asking, ano ba yung mga types of job na pwede niyang gawin? In addition to that, I just saw another post, and this post is asking, what are the types of job that an engineer can offer online? Now that caught my attention because the Mister is currently taking up engineering. He's about to graduate, I think May. He graduated na siya katapos ng ng thesis defense niya. I actually sent this link to him kasi maraming magandang inputs dun sa thread na yon. Hopefully, magagamit ni Mr. on ng his online job yung engineering course niya kasi bukod sa maganda kitaan sa labas, maganda rin ang kitaan sa loob. Diba? So anyway, eto na. I have a list of jobs that you can do at home. I actually remember I started creating this list 2016 or 17 when I started my blog, blogymary.guru. I'm gonna post the link of this particular blog on the description box below. Do check on that. Again, this is just a quick overview. We're going to talk about each of these jobs in detail in the near future. For now, at least magkaroon kayo ng idea how you can actually choose the type of job na pwede nyong applyan. Most of the time kasi, I think ha, this is one of the most common error ng mga applicants or mga newbies is that kung ano yung makita nilang job post kahit hindi nila alam gawin, apply sila ng apply, later lang nila nare-realize na masyadong technical na pala yung job post at hindi nila magagawa. Of course, I encourage everyone to apply for jobs na sa tingin nila kaya nilang gawin. And if merong mga technical areas or parts itong task na to na hindi tayo familiar, we can always Google but at least have an idea kung ano yung na naka -post. So one job would be as a content writer. As a content writer, you produce articles depending on the niche of the client's business. Basically, ang role nito, article writer, content writer, sila yung nagpo-provide ng mga blog or written documentation needs ng mga businesses. Marami naghahanap nito, most especially do sa mga blog-based niche or marketing and they need something in writing, showing and emphasizing the products, ganyan, ganyan. So, that's it. Editor, proofreader, they're the ones who work hand-in-hand -hand with content writers. They check for grammatical errors and all that. You could be a resume or career coach. So, for example, uh, meron kang experience with HR as human resource experience representative. Chema, chema. Yes, sabi ko. Nantok na ako. Yun na. Hey guys, look. I have ear cup. Inspired by Katriona Gray. Love it. So, yun. Resume or career coach, you can advise other people about the best type of jobs that they can take. Now, if you have mastered this profiling, this is one of the, the things that they do online. They become career coach. They use their own experience and best practices, methods that they have used and mastered in time para naman may guide yung iba kung ano the best career path that they can take. Similar do sa mga guidance counselors sa school, yun yun. Transcriptionist, we've discussed this before. I've tried it. 
you have a digital material or you'd have to source something from a website. Tapos gagawin mo siya, itatype mo siya sa document, sa word. Depende sa kung anong output ang gusto ng client. Data researcher, ito marami naghahanap nitong word na to. Data entry, data researcher, mga nagda-data mine, mga data mining specialist. Sila yung naghahanap ng information online. Most of the time, ang hinahanap nito mga to, emails, contact information, things like that. SEO specialist, medyo mataliktik to. It takes time to master. And bukod doon, para siyang pag-aaral ng computer. Every year may bago. So, every year, aral, aral ka ng aral, update ka ng update. But the basic is there. People who have mastered SEO are the ones who can put your website at the top page of Google. Marketing consultant. So, ito yung mga tao na magaling sa mga ads, sa mga... Partly graphic design, no? So, if you have any experience in marketing sa outside world, you can apply it online. Business coach, ito naman yung mga nakikipag-usap sa mga business owners. They guide them kung paano pang may improve yung business nila in terms of leads management, people management, and things like that. Virtual assistant, secretary ka, pero sa bahay ka nagtatrabaho, tapos yung boss mo, pinadadala lang sa'yo yung task. Customer service agent and tech support agent, if you have experience in the call center industry, then familiar kayo nito. But instead of going to the office, sa bahay kayo nagko-calls. Tutor or online teacher, sila naman yung mga, not necessarily may mga GED ba yun? Mga lisensya magturo. From what I know, they go through some trainings, tapos pinag-aaralan nila yung subject, and mas mataas ang bayad kapag ka may specific kang specialization. For example, ano yun? Di ba si Miguel English? Major yun. Web graphic designer, this is for websites. Si very similar to sa web developer, no? Content creation. Web design. Content creation sila kasi web developer ay yung nagagawa ng mismong site. Designer ay sila yung nagde-design. Nag-layout. Ano tayo kasama sa ito? Okay. Next is PPC Ad Manager. Ito, very similar to sa SEO at saka sa marketing pero combined. Kasi PPC Ad Management is more of website. Makikita nyo sa Facebook may mga post tapos mag-appear siya sa timeline nyo kahit hindi nyo follow yung tao at may nakalagay na sponsor. Yun. Paid ad yun. Sales agent, self-explanatory sales agent, inside sales agent which is my current job. Most of the, the sales happens over the phone. The goal is to get an appointment mostly or to... Minsan yung iba, they require na first interaction pa lang with the lead ay titingnan mo na kagad kung qualified siya or not for the sale. Something like that. Search Engine Evaluator. Ito naman yung tulong ng SEO para makita kung nasaan na ba yung ginagawa ng SEO. Kung effective ba yung SEO technique na ginagamit. Things like that. Animator. Sila yung mga nagagawa ng mga cartoons yun ang pagkakaitindi ko. But again, we'll go in, into detail one by one eventually. But I want you to have an idea first kung ano ba pwede nyo gawin na work at home. Screencast webinar expert. Eto, nag-start to, napansin ko ah, mga around 2015-16, nauso na yung mga seminar that instead of magbabayad ka ng location, online na lang. Eto rin yung ginagamit pagka magte-train usually ng mga bootcamps for virtual assistants, you've probably heard of that. So, yun. Screencasts, webinars, similar to podcast, mga ganun. iOS or Android developer, ito yung mga, usually, ah, yung mga apps sa phones nyo na nagde-develop ng mga apps na yun. Ito yun. Sila yun. And you can offer that service online too. Now, ito ay listahan lang ng mga ilan sa mga popular jobs online. But again, if you are considering transitioning from office job to work from home jobs, the best way is to actually start first with what you already know. And if you are a newbie or wala pang experience with work and whatnot, fresh grads, housewives, ano yung paborito mong gawin? For example, you like to draw. Do you draw using your computer? Kasi yun, from there, pwede mo nang i-analyze yung skill set mo. Tapos, makikita mo na kagad kung ano yung healing mo. And the best way to succeed as a freelancer is to think of it as a business. Passion-driven purpose. Purpose-driven passion. Say na yun. Anyway, thank you so much guys for watching this video. I'll see you on our next video. Bye!